Hi guys, so I've been called out to this job today because they're complaining that this radiator isn't getting hot, the rest are all getting hot, not this one. So I suspect that there's a um, an airlock within the system. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for me to create a video about it for this post, okay? So first step really is to, we need to go around the system and we need to turn all of the radiators off, okay? So um, we do that by turning the thermostat valve clockwise, if they've got a thermostat valve. If they haven't got a thermostat valve, then what you'll need to do is turn it off by the lock shield, okay? You might need a, um, a spanner for this as well. When you're turning it off by the lock shield side, it's a good idea to remember how many turns it took to turn it off. Um, the lock shield valves are there to balance the system, so it's quite important that it's set to a certain setting, basically. So just bear that in mind. Once you've turned all of the radiators off, except for this one, uh, we need to turn off the hot water. So if they've got a hot water cylinder, the pump could be going around the, 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 the hot water cylinder instead of the heat inside. So it's important to turn the hot water off, okay? Um, once you've done that, we turn the heating on and the pump's got no alternative but to force the water through to this radiator. So you should hear like a gurgling sound, like a glugging sound. And what that is, is the airlock being released to the radiator and the radiator is gonna fill up with a bit of air. So what we need to do is remove the air from the radiator. Vents are located either on the left hand, uh, on the right hand side, sorry, or the, the left hand side, or they're on the back. So just look out for them. Once you've got the air out of the system, you should start getting heat through to the radiator if the airlock's been released. And what you wanna do is you wanna try and get one side to be almost as equal to the other side. Once you've got both sides hot, that indicates to me that there's circulation going around the system and that's a good sign. Once we've got that, we can then go back around our radiators and turn them all back to what they were on, on the thermostat valve, or turn it back to what they were originally set at on the lock shield side. And that's pretty much it to be honest, it's straightforward. Now if you, if you do this and it doesn't work, then to me that indicates you've got a blockage and you're gonna need to call an engineer out really to, to, to start draining down and cutting pipes and all sorts of things. But I hope you found this useful. Um, thanks for listening, cheers.